Uh, for many years when I get up having no hair on my head by choice, um, I don't really have very much to do with the top part up here when I wake up. I tend to just take a throwaway razor and do that as if it's a comb and that goes. Um, and then I used to shower with this beard. I now have a whole process that I have to go through where I put a conditioner in which uh, makes the grey go more silver in effect. I have to leave that in for a while, then I shower, it's all got washed out, then I have to put a beard oil in if I so want to, and then I comb it. So my morning process now takes longer than what it used to. Um, in between that I've washed my body and that's it. I don't use anything else anywhere else. Yes, yeah. Um, I look for the least ingredients and um, uh, things which I hope don't have a smell or a fragrance that I'm not aware of. Things that, like deodorant, I use the rock thing because to me it's just fat, it's got nothing in it. So when I look for any other things, I just, the least I see listed, the safer I feel with it. I've got a whole thing at the moment where anything to do with sustainability is driving me crazy. Um, I try and... Um, yeah, I like packaging to look okay. Um, I'm not as anal retentive with it as what I used to be. Um, but if it looks a bit vulgar and a bit kitsch, I don't really want to see it in the morning. So yeah, I suppose packaging is the font and all of that is still important to me, yeah. in store, but I've just moved back here from almost 10 years in the USA. So some of what I have as product, I might now have to buy online because it's not in the UK. I'd like the product to also have something in it like some energy content. I mean, if I could put the beard oil and it had guana in it or something, make some energy come. I've, I've...